continue the conversation this morning. Speaking of sun exposure, dermatologist. Lonnie Palm is here. Talk about the importance of making sure that you are getting regular checks. Dr. Palm, thanks so much for coming in. Oh, my pleasure. We were just chatting during the commercial break, and, um, and Jimmy Carter being very candid about what is going on with him mm -hmm. and his prognosis and diagnosis. They never actually said if they did find a spot on his body. No, that's interesting, but we know about 98% of melanomas that become metastatic, the source is the skin. So, of course, dermatologists play a key role in helping patients to make sure that they're looking head to toe. Um, you know, interestingly, there's other areas, though, where a melanoma can arise within the eyes. So in patients that have a history of melanoma, or there's a strong family history, I often advise that they actually see an ophthalmologist as well. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that um, a lot of people are not getting regular skin checks. They're not doing this at a very young age. What do you suggest for patients in your practice, patients that may have been in Southern California exposed sure. to the sun for quite some time? Yeah, so the regulations really um, outlined from our academy is once a year for somebody that doesn't have really pronounced risk uh, factors. If somebody has a strong family history or personal history, that changes, and it's usually every three to six months. Now, what exactly are you looking for? Because I know um, in my personal experience with the disease, it's not always the big scary mole. Mm -hmm. It can actually look very different than that, but then come back as melanoma. Yeah, I really talk to patients about something new or changing, which is sort of the E and A, B, C, D, E's evolution, or something that's the ugly duckling, the one that doesn't belong. If it looks strange compared to the rest of your moles, or if something's just sensitive, oftentimes patients will say, you know, this one mole's been bothering me a little bit. I've never noticed it before, but it's a little bit sensitive. It's a little bit burny. Sometimes our immune system's trying to fight something that it knows is wrong. So if you notice that, come in and see a board-certified dermatologist. It's so simple to do. A little bit of numbing. We sample it and send it off to the dermatopathologist. How aggressive is melanoma when you're noticing something on your skin that may be changing? You're not getting to the dermatologist right away. How quick is it going, quickly is it going from a mole to something internal and more serious like Jimmy Carter's? Yeah, it really depends on the subtype. Some are indolent and they can kind of hang out and grow horizontally for months to years, but many of them can dive down. That's when we get concerned, when they become thicker, because that's when there's a greater risk of them going into blood vessels, going into lymph nodes, and metastasizing, which is the case with President Carter. When you see something like what President Carter is going through when it's showing up in four different spots in his brain, mm -hmm. does that send off well, it's stage Signals. four, yeah. so it's metastatic, which means, you know, it's spread from where it started to other organs. You know, we know it's in his liver. We know he has four lesions that are in the brain. So it's a poor prognosis. For stage four, the overall survival rate for about five years out is about 20%. Mm. So um, much higher if you catch something in situ, which is stage zero, it's 100% curable with just a local excision. And that's why we want to get things early. Yeah, very, very early. A lot of people out there may be saying, well, I don't have fair skin. Mm -hmm. I tan very easily. I don't really have freckles or moles, so this doesn't apply to me. What do you say to those folks? I say Bob Marley died of melanoma. So, you know, we know in um, everybody can get a melanoma, and it doesn't have, have to happen where the sun doesn't shine. So I've actually had patients that have had melanoma in situ in skin-covered areas on their bottom. So I, you really have to look. Look between toes. Look, um, you know, sort of where your underpants are. You want to look in the scalp. Um, and be very, very careful. And it can look like a little dot, but if something just seems out of character with the rest of your spots, get it checked out. Right. I mean, boy, it's scary. It's a scary yeah. disease. Are we being able to treat it better now? Or are there more treatment options available? We are. It's really interesting. So actually, President Carter is using one of the new monoclonal antibodies. It was just approved in September of 2014. So we finally have hope. For a long time, we were just telling patients, get detected early because there's not a ton that we can do when it's more advanced disease. But there have been about four drugs that have been approved. I think we're really getting into this phase of immunotherapy, which is what this, um, this medication, Keytruda, is actually going to do for him. It recruits a part of your immune system to fight off the tumor. And then he's having radiation, which is going to help with some, it's palliative. It helps with some of the symptoms. All right, well, we'll see what happens, and we'll yeah. be praying for his family and wishing him all the Absolutely. best. Absolutely. Dr. Melanie Palm, thanks so much for joining us. We do appreciate your expertise.